Welcome to DMIT lab. In this video, we understand what are the benefits of DMIT report and its advantages. Let's start. So first, if you see here, we have categorized the age group. So DMIT report has many benefits. So each age group has a different concerns. So we have divided with a different age group. Likewise, we understand what are the benefits they get as per their age group. So first we have categorized is the children. That means DMIT test for children. What they are able to get benefits with age group of 3 to 10 years. So this is the first category. We have categorized the second age group that is 11 to 25 years. So this category comes with students. So in this you will understand what is the DMIT test benefits for the students. Now the third category is age group of 26 to 40 years. So what they get benefits with this DMIT reports. So we discuss one by one then we will go through step by step process. Now the first age group that is 3 to 10 years. So what are the DMIT test report benefits for the children? So in this we are able to understand. The first children what they are going to get benefit is personality and behavior. You can know as a parent you can understand your child personality and their behaviors because once they cross three years the personality and behavior starts reflecting. Before three years we do not consider uh, these are the children the before three years it is like a, they are the God okay. Actual behavior and actual personality characteristics will start reflecting after three years only. So you may be heard uh, that before uh, uh, three years they would be quiet calm with a lovely face uh, lofty and all but actual characters you can able to start seeing from after three years only. So this is the right age to understand your child personality and behavior and this is most important also. So once you know your child personality and behavior you can manage them accordingly you can build a good relationship you can you can know that how you can able to manage their uh, characteristics and this is the age to work on the personality also. Suppose if there are lot of weaknesses if you found in your child, okay, anxiety, uh, some sort of uh, aggressions, there are a lot of weaknesses you may be able to find from the child. So this is the right age to work on them. So that is what it is important to know the personality and behaviors. Now the next is learning ability. So after three years, so you are preparing to send for the schools, okay, nursery and all. So now it is better to know your child learning ability. Learning ability means their brain potentials, whether low, medium and high. So you can understand your child whether they comes under low learning or medium or high. So once you understand that, you can discuss with uh, the nursery or the wherever once they start getting higher and higher. You can discuss with teachers and schools and you can tell them. So these people in this way they can able to but if you can able to improve in the better way. So it is better to know your child uh, with uh, their brain potentials low, medium and high so that you do not compare with others. Generally it is not a good idea to compare others because once you understand your child learning ability so that you can work on them properly. So that is the good idea to understand with the DMIT reports. Now next comes the learning styles. See every child has their own way of understanding the things that is called learning styles. They understand with a different style of learning auditory, visual, kinesthetics. So once you know your learning style of your child, so you can work them, okay, you can work on them so that they understand more. So by that you can improve the learning ability. Now comes the memory formations. Sometimes what happens in the children, they learn but there are most of the time they forget oftenly. It's not 
all the child it depends on child to child so once you know your child memory formations whether they are the short term memory long term memory temporary memory there are different ways of memory in the child so once you understand the child memory formations you can work them accordingly this will help to improve their memory power okay that's the one point the na next is reading and writing ability this is the most important uh, sometime what happens some kids are able to read better they are not able to write well okay and likewise sometime they can able to write but they cannot able to read okay so there are some challenges you may able to see in the child it is better to know what are their reading and writing ability so you can work them accordingly next is most of the parents oftenly ask us we are planning to put our child for the some activities cycling musics okay uh, dance there are many activities parents are wish to send them generally but what we advise it is not advise all the activity for the all the child okay each child has their own uh, inborn potentials that means they have a talent in that just let us know what talents they have and which activity suits them sometime if you push them to send that activity if they start regretting that will affect on the educations and academics so it is always get to know the activity which are good for them whether they are good for the music they good for the dance they good for the uh, acting there are many activities okay photography they are different different so it is better to know then you can plan your child to send for the activities ha this is most important nowadays most of the parents are facing to manage the child okay they are simply comparing with others and they are doing this way you are not able to do they are good you are not since most of the parents are comparing without having a much understanding of their own child potentials it is always recommend to understand your child better that is what with this dmit report you can understand your child better and this will help to parenting you can become a very good parents to manage your kids and also it will help to improve the teaching means the way you want to improve your child you can also improve yourself to betterment for your child so this will help to understand the right parenting techniques and teaching okay so these are the benefits which you get from this dmit reports for the children now we understand what are the dmit test report benefits for the students age group 11 to 25 years so let's understand what are the benefits you get for the students with this dmit report the first benefit is multiple intelligence i would like to stress more on this part because especially 11 to 25 years is the very crucial age development there are a lot of hormonal get changes and the brain of uh, modulations and bandwidths it's going to be increased in the different way so it is better to understand that multiple intelligence is going to start reflecting after 11 years so what is multiple intelligence okay intelligence is nothing but it's a simple so so nowadays you see that my son or the daughter uh, has got matured matured means is nothing but they are start thinking intelligently once they get matured that intelligence starts reflecting in their so it is better to work on the multiple intelligence by knowing the dmit report so generally for uh, ladies uh, they get matured girls they get matured uh, nowadays uh, mostly with 12 13 and 14 years the boys little one or two years later okay the maturity is nothing but they got a something right and wrong which is right and which is wrong they start thinking on that they get an cognitive ability to 
understand what is right and wrong. So, that is nothing but a multiple intelligence. So, multiple intelligence start reflecting with this age group 11 to 25 years. It is always recommend to work on this age group only. If you want to work on, if you want to improve the multiple intelligence, if you want to know your multiple intelligence, it is the right age. Okay? So, this is the first thing you get the multiple intelligence of your son or the daughter, you can say the students. Now, the next is that again personality and behaviors. So, because of this intelligence, maybe you heard of before 10 years, what they were able to uh, see their personality and behavior, it may be changed after the maturity of them. That does not mean that they do not have that behavior. They have that behavior, based on that behavior and that intelligence what they get after this 11 years, intelligence and the behavior starts working correlations. So, it will change your attitude, attitude multiple intelligence personality compositions what it reflects, the projection of intelligence and personality will becomes your attitude. So, it is better to know the personality and behaviors, so that you can understand what is their attitude. So, if they are with the right direction, it is well and fine. If they are not with the right directions, it is better to work with their behaviors and characteristics. Now, the important thing with this age group is the cognitive ability. See, cognitive ability is nothing but again, uh, it is something which you understand which is right and which is not right, which is correct, which is not correct. So, that is the ability they get with this age group and somebody has more or less, somebody cognitive ability is more, somebody is less. So, you can know from the report what are their cognitive ability, problem solving ability. So, all those can be known from the cognitive ability. Now, this is most important here, this age group especially for 11 to 25 years people get often difficulties with this focus and concentration, especially in terms of the study. Okay? So, this will help you to do study counselling. I will just explain uh, detailed what is study counselling. Study counselling is nothing but, if any problem are they are able to find difficulties in their academics, whatever they are able to find difficulties in their academics, what we understand, what we diagnose, what is the issue and what is the solutions we provide that is called study counselling. So, with this DMIT report, you can know what is the study counselling. Study counselling means is there any problem with reading ability, writing ability, memory formations, learning styles, recalling ability, especially in terms of the examination, sometimes they are not able to write in examinations, they were able to explain verbally, but they cannot write in examinations. So, all those things comes with the study counselling. With the paragraphs and with the uh, slides, with the percentages, with the bars and charts, we give you a complete report, what is the issue and what is the solution for that. Now, the subject selections. Okay? So, once you complete your 10th uh, standard, okay, the metric, after the metric or the 10th standard, if you want to select subjects compositions, for example, if you want to go for science, uh, if you want to go for arts, or whatever the commerce or subject. So, what subject selection? If it is science, PCMC, PCMB, there are many combinations you have. So, what subject selection should be good for them? That can be known from the reports. So, this will definitely help you to choose the compositions of your subject selections. Now, the most, most, most important is the career counselling. Out of 100 students, I am telling you in generally, if there is 100 students, out of 100 students, 95 percent of the people has a confusion which is the best career for them, whether to go for science, arts, commerce, because nowadays new NEP has came, new education policy has been uh, introduced. So, there is a lot of options you have now, okay, not like the previous one. And also presently, there are a lot of trends is also changing. Nowadays, AI has been introduced. This 2023 is the era of AI. 
so it is the most important criteria that you have to choose the best career for them after the career counseling there will be a career guidance after selection of which is the best career for them there is a career guidance is required career guidance is nothing but what is the best college for that particular selected career and how your path should be suppose you have decided to go for mba finance so first to reach that mba finance first what you have to do after pu or whatever then after the pu what degree has to take and then what is your master degree so this is what we call as a career guidance in the career guidance is all about subject selections college selections even it is india or the other country see all the possible options with the present trends and also there is a lot of new career options is going to be introduced in the present world that also been considered as per the reports and also for example mba finance there is a very long time it is there for example now there is a digital marketing so most of the uh, presently in 2023 digital marketing is a big boom so that based on that report whether that candidate is suitable for that present trend that is digital marketing or the business analyst there are a lot of other options we have so that is going to be known from the career guidance the most important factor again is that most of the students are not able to focus on the academics that means they are not showing much interested to study so it is because of their focus and time concentration issue so to improve your focus and concentration we have to know first what is their weaknesses why they are not able to focus and concentrate so first we will diagnose that and once you understand what is the reason which is not focusing or which is the reason it is not able to concentrate then we will work on that there is a different modules we have for example tfar tfar is a one module thoughts feelings action and results so once you work on that tfar module you we can definitely improve the focus and concentration this is a one example tfar but there is a different uh, methodology or the different therapy or the different things we have a solution for focus and concentration so we can also know from the dmit reports now we are going to discuss dmit test report benefits for the adults adults means the age group is 26 to 40 years this is a very crucial age group there is a lot more changes in their life once they complete their academics they have started their careers family commitments there are lot of new things is in the market competition world okay uh, because of all those things people get often uh, difficulty to take the right decision in terms of career choice or the relationship related issues whether to start business or not whether to go for higher studies or not there are a lot of conflicts we have in the age group of 26 to 40 years so how dmit report is going to benefit for this age group that we are going to understand from this report let's start what you get benefits from this dmit report the first thing with this age group most of the people will come for the counseling that uh, shivraj uh, i don't know presently i am working but i am not happy with my present career i wanted to change my career sometime they say that i want to go for higher studies Uh, whether it suits me or better to go for the present job or whether to go for the career change there is a lot of confusions they have this dmit report is going to help you to change career or whether to continue with the present career or whether to go for higher studies or any other conflicts can be known from this dmit reports definitely this is the most important for that and the next thing is mi compositions ratio as i already told they are not able to happy in their present career because it is not well composed intelligence because each career requires different intelligence compositions 
different talent is required. So we will see in the reports what composition they have, whether they have one eye composition, two intelligence composition or the three intelligence compositions. Based on these, we guide them which is the best career for them. And next thing is the career counseling. See, career counseling is not only a, the career choices. Career counseling is all about knowing your strengths and weaknesses, intelligence compositions and the subject selections. There are many and also the financial status what you have. Yeah, am I capable to choose that career based on that my financial capabilities and financial availabilities? So all those things we evaluate the financial status of the present and the commitment of a person because this age group is very very uh, it is in the edge of the line. So if something goes wrong they are going to suffer the whole life. So it is always recommended to take the career counseling. See there is only two things which you cannot take the right you cannot make the right later because that's a very painful process one is that the career choice one is the marriage choice if you have a wrong with career choice that's very difficult and if you have a wrong with marriage choice then the whole life is going to suffer so this is the age which they face two things one is the career choice and the marriage choice so all those things can be known from this DMIT report so that is called career counseling. Right decision making and the path. The most of the time whatever these people with this age group they are going to suffer with the present uh, work or the academics or whatever. What they happen they try to take advice from the others. So others always give as per their experience and their wishes that cannot be the right decision. So it is very very difficult to apply to your present life. So you have to take the right decisions and the right path based on your strength and weaknesses. You should know yourself what is your strength and what is your weaknesses. And what way you will think, okay, what is the way of thinking, the way you think rationally, emotionally or creatively. So, Rationally is always not right, emotionally is always not right or creativity. So always we recommend, we have to composition of all three, rational thinking, emotional thinking and creative thinking. So based on that you have to take right decisions. So our report is going to help for these right decisions. Now comes the right business choice. Presently most of the people are thinking in a, in a present, uh, this is a 2023, if you ask anyone, they say that I would like to start my own startup. I want to start my own business. Not only the new people or the new students. And most of the adults, especially who are working, uh, they have a good salary also. They are well settled, but still they think that we would like to start the business. It is not wrong. It is always right also. Okay. See, the questions comes. Yes, you can able to start business, but what kind of business you are supposed to suit to that? Every business requires their own set of compositions. So DMIT report will help you to take decisions based on your strength and weaknesses. This will recommend, so based on the disk profile, based on the intelligence compositions, based on the brain potentials, multitasking, there are many criteria has to be taken to choose the right kind of business choice. So our report will help you to take the best business type. What kind of business will suits to you? Next comes the SWOT analysis based on the disk profile. As I already told, if you want to take any right decisions, business choice or career choice, SWOT analysis is most important here. So in our DMRT report, the SORT analysis which gives you a clear picture, what is your strength, what is your weaknesses, what is your opportunity, what is your threats. So how to understand and how to work on that, that is called SORT analysis. Next comes IQ, EQ, AQ, CQ and SQ. IQ means intelligent question, EQ means emotional question. 
aq means adversity quotient cq means creative quotient sq means spiritual quotient so once you understand all these areas of whatever iq if it is good with iq you are good for the technical if it is emotional if it is good for management aq is all about defense and military cq is all about creative related professions sq is all about related to spiritual that means psychology counseling all comes under the sq so here what we do we will see what is your talent in this whether you are good with iq eq aq cq and sq based on that we will recommend the career and the decisions also sometime people are good with iq because of the eq they are suffering in their life so we will tell them how to work on the eq there are people good with iq but still they don't have a proper energy management so because that they are suffering so we also tell because you are the strength here because of these weaknesses you are able to make use of your strength so we will guide them properly based on these values and we will recommend them now the last is relationship and financial goal okay this is most important here okay relationship and financial goal this 26 to 40 years is the very crucial age where they were supposed to settle as early as possible suppose if you are not able to manage your relationship properly then the difficulty to settle as early possible and the second thing is the financial goals you should have a very clear picture in mind that what i am supposed to be after 35 or after 40 or after 50 how i my retirement should be and what is my present financial goal should be what is the future financial goal should be suppose if you are able to manage relationship properly then only you can able to manage your financial goal properly it is all interlinked okay it's all about your iq and eq compositions how you manage your iq iq help you to manage your financial goals eq help you to manage your relationship so based on the report you can improve your relationship you can improve the financial goals so all these are the main benefits which age group 26 to 40 years going to get benefited not only these there are many other areas which you get benefits but only thing is please watch that or uh, please go through our uh, uh, dmit sample reports we have uh, posted in the uh, video descriptions link the sample report pdf file please go through all the pages so that you can understand how the report looks like
Now we have understood all the uh, benefits of DMRT reports for the students with the age group of 11 to 25 years. So if you have any still questions, okay, if you want to know apart from these areas what we have shown in the uh, video, if, apart from these if you have any other questions, please go to our DMIT lab dot in, there we have detailed explained with a different different age group and also still if you are not able to understand please go to contact section and fill the form and ask your questions okay now it's done